Following in her dad's footsteps, Tammy Curtis has been an artist her entire life. First as an art teacher in Louisiana and now a full time commission artist living here on the coast. She's also one of the artists that you're going to meet during this weekend's Arts Alive Festival in the Bay. And today's in their shoes. We're bringing art to life inside of her private workshop. Hey y'all, guess where we are today? We're over here in Bay St. Louis in the art studio of the one and only Tammy Curtis. She is a painter and she does impressionism and folk art. Right, so what are we gonna be doing today? Today we're gonna be doing a, we all love blue crabs. We're from here, we eat them and we love to look at them. So we're gonna be painting a blue crab. I start on black. I don't use black in my actual painting, but I start on black and then I chalk it out and then where I want it to be bright colors afterwards, I'm gonna block it out with, with the white. With the white, so that when we put another color on it, the black won't muddy it up. And then when we're all done, you erase that chalk line, and then it have this little black gritty edge that makes all the colors just go really wild. So I'm gonna give you this one. This one, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so you're gonna load up your brush. With the white? Mm-hmm, load it up. Now, on this crab, the, obviously the claws are red, and we want a nice bright red when we do it. So Put your point in just like you would for your eyeliner and leave, try to leave your chalk lines and you're just gonna fill in that claw right there. Now, what would you call this type of painting? Right now, um, well, what you're doing is called blocking. Okay. That, that white, you're just blocking out some spaces. So did you always knew like you were gonna be an artist? Like I said, I, um, vivid memory. When I was two years old, I had one of those little fat red pencils and my little book with the little lines on it. That's when I realized, because I drew the little tiny little shape of a duck outline, and that's when I realized that I can make that line do what I wanted it to do. So ever since then. But I have that very vivid memory. So when people say, how long did it take you to do that? I go, since I was two and I drew a duck. When I used to teach, you know, kids would finish a lesson and I would have the next art, they would have all these art lessons. Like when they finish one, they'd go with another one. And they go, oh my gosh, Miss Curtis, when are we done? I said, you're never done. You're never done. What do you mean? My grave, my tombstone will say, she loved art and she was never done. But that's okay because when I go to heaven, there'll be colors I never even dreamed of and I'll get to paint with my daddy again. So it's all good. And he uh, was a big woodsman. He was a quail hunter. But he'd take me out in the woods because we had, we still have it, Hornbeck farmland um, in Louisiana. There are, of course, crows out there and he said um he said look at those crows and tell me what color they are and i was probably like seven or eight and this is when the aha moment hit with color and i said well um uh, daddy they're they're black and he goes nope i want you to look again he said wait till the sun hits their wing and when it did all these blues and greens and purples and i went oh and that's when i realized there's so much more into color than we realize but that that's indelible in my mind forever. Well, that and the duck. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The duck. Yeah. <laughs> can't can't negate the duck. But I've never done a yellow background on a painting. You haven't? Mm -mm. What are we gonna name our crabs? Well, they're definitely Bayou Brothers. Oh, I like it. Can we just leave it there? The Bayou the Brothers. The Bayou Brothers. I think we're just about there, Jamie. <gasps> I gotta sign it. You do have to sign Where it. Where do I sign? We got our Bayou Brothers. Look at these. I know. This is terrific. They're beautiful. Oh, man. Thank you so much well, for I'm interviewing so with me. You did a great job. Yay. You are terrific. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Oh, it's really neat interviewing people and understanding more about their story. And it's something you can get a lot more of this weekend in the Bay. The spring tradition is continuing. Arts Alive returns to the Depot District. Artists from across South Mississippi are going to be showing off their works and giving live demonstrations like you just saw there. You can also hear great music. Arts Alive is happening Saturday and Sunday, and it begins at 10 a.m. on both days. Oh, and good morning.